say little bits of butter, and the reason you want those little bits of butter is because when your dough goes, when you roll it out and then you're baking it, the dough, the butter causes stain, and what that stain is causes layers in your dough, and that's when you get the flaky tin dip, right? At least that's what my French culinary instructor calls it, the flaky tin dip. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my board, and if you are afraid of flour, or if you are working in the summer and you're afraid that you're going to add too much flour, then roll out your um, dough on parchment paper, and then you can, if it gets too, into, exactly. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> because if you roll it out on parchment paper, when it gets too warm, or you can actually pick it up and put it back into the refrigerator. Makes sense, right? All right. So we want to always make sure that our dough can move. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm rolling. This is a good workout too. All right. So you just roll, and as I'm rolling, I'm working out from the middle, and then I'm rolling to the edge, but I'm not going over the edge because that will pinch my dough and cause it to stick onto the uh, cutting board. Did you just get an aha uh -huh moment? The woman behind you. Ah! That's what keeps happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm rolling it out like this. Just push it back into it. Mm -hmm. And then I want to make sure that my dough is moving. There's nothing worse, honestly. There's nothing worse than you're doing all this work and you get ready to move that dough and it's like, you can't move it. All right. So let me roll it out. Mm -hmm. But you can still see little streaks of butter in this, which is exactly what you want. Exactly what I want. Because why? Flaky tin dough. Exactly. 